Hi, I'm Dr. Quentin Morris, artist, scholar in residence here at King FM. And oh my gosh, what an amazing few months this has been presenting this work from Unmute the Voices to you. I have to confess, I have never done radio or video before. So this has been an adventure just as much for you as it has been for me. But I'm so thankful for your support talking to all of these different composers and performers and presenting their work to you has been really an honor and a privilege to me. And so I want to share some of, I think, the sound bites and, and just short stories of these um, fantastic people that we've had over the last few months here at Unmute the Voices. Whether it's Carnby Hall, I belonged there. If it's the Metropolitan Opera, I belong there. If it's in a park on a, on a cement stage with people picnicking in front of me, I belong there. Whatever mm -hmm. stage I find myself in, I belong there at that time. Really excited about my career is that I have been able to accommodate both worlds. Mm. Youth orchestras and professional orchestras and kind of like rotate, go, go back and forth. So I bring that excitement and they look like these guys so excited. Why I was playing Brahms 1 again. No, because I come from working with kids. It happens too often in classical music and so many systems, philanthropy too, is we look to people, the people with the resources look to people who look like them for the solutions. Play music and take lessons and try to excel. You know, a lot of the students, you know, didn't have basic necessities like electricity and running water. So asking them to practice at night, you know, when they're living in a, you know, one bedroom shack, like literally a shack, <laughs> it's, it's almost impossible. Well, listen, you know, when I, um, when I, I was like, I know this is for a class school radio uh, station, but it is also for our voices. And so we are influenced, even within our classical compositions, we are influenced by the music of Black people. And so that's what we're going to be doing over the next couple of weeks is sharing who they are with you, reintroducing them to you, and also giving you a little bit of more insight into who they are as people. So thank you so much for your support. And uh, let us know in the comments what you think of um their stories and, and what resonates with you. And um, tell us also what you'd like to hear and see more of for 2022.